making a holiday killer cuddly. This is your look at the kid robot Halloween Michael Myers plush funny. It's been more than 40 years, and now Michael Myers is coming for you. First appearing in John Carpenter's 1978 horror movie Halloween, the sadistic serial killer that started it all is back in plush form with the Halloween Michael Myers funny plush by Kid Robot. Complete with his signature knife and haunting jack-o'-lantern, this iconic killer is coming for you. Pfft, says Halloween has to be over. Before we get a closer look at funny Michael Myers, no, it it's not what you think. He's not cracking jokes. Uh, you'll see what I mean in a second. Before we do that, though, I want to figure out how tall he actually sits. I was going to say stand, but you can clearly see he's sitting instead. And while I'm doing this, I'd also like to send a big thank you to the folks over at Kid Robot who provided the sample of funny Michael Myers that we're having a look at in this review. It's strange to say funny Michael Myers. I'll provide the link down below in the video description that will take you over to their store. And if you're in the market of picking this one up for yourself, you'll find him over there as well as a, ho a whole ton of cool collectibles. Funny Michael Myers, again, it's funny just to say that, sits at 8.9 inches in height. And we can go ahead and switch that to centimeters, revealing that plushy Michael sits at 22.8 centimeters in height. Speaking of sitting, I've currently got Michael Myers sitting down. And if you've ever had issues where your figures are toppling over if they're in a sitting pose, might I recommend a little tip of the trade? You can get these little discs, these little rings. A lot of times you can find it like craft stores and stuff like that. I don't know if they're intended for bracelets because they're awfully small. Um, I don't know if they're actually like napkin rings, but this clearly isn't a napkin ring. Anyways, the point I was making before I got sidetracked is a lot of times you can actually just put this on the underbody in this plate, in this case, on the hiney of Michael Myers. And it's actually just enough to keep the figure from falling over. You kind of have to get it like dead center. The tag sort of gets in the way of things. But if you have it sitting right on that ring, it's usually enough that the figure doesn't fall over. Now, of course, as I'm saying this, the figure is falling over repeatedly. But if you get it just on that sweet spot, there we go. It sits perfectly fine and he's not going to fall over. Seeing as the tag was such a bane of my existence at the beginning of this review, let's have a look at that right now. Now, I did say it was funny, Michael Myers. No, it's not F-U-N-N-Y. Instead, it's P-H-U-N-N-Y, a, a term coined by the folks over at Kid Robot. You'll see a rather substantially large tag. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and take this off. Not yet, but I'll take it off after this review, just because when it comes to having him just in my collection, I don't want this obnoxious tag sitting there. You can see it's been fastened to the side of his arm. One side's got Halloween too. So I think a lot of it, again, is licensing. A lot of companies just can't seem to do 78 Michael Myers. So instead, what we're getting here is Halloween 2 Michael Myers. You flip it around on the back and there is Kid Robot along with their website at www.kidrobot.com. And down below that, you'll also see it's a NECA collaboration as well. Fancy that. And that's a pretty decent looking uh, Michael Myers, although it does look like it does look like it's Halloween 2 Michael Myers. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take that off uh, uh, right after this review. I won't do that just yet, but yeah, it's, it's going to be coming off. As for Michael Myers himself, even though technically you could say it's Halloween 2 Michael Myers, I mean, anybody looking at this will know it's 78 Michael Myers. I mean, I guess what they could always do is re-release this guy with a fun touch of having the stitched blood trickling down from his face. I mean, other than that, I mean, he looks, when you're looking at him, he looks like 78 Michael Myers. He's got the knife in his one hand, and he's got the pumpkin right in the middle there. Now, the pumpkin is sewn to his belly. You can't remove it. They probably could have done Velcro on here as well. So if you wanted to, you could, uh, it's not really the sound that Velcro makes. Velcro is more like, shh. you could have shh, taken the pumpkin right off and stuck that back on if you wanted to. One thing I did want to mention as a critique is the knife that he's got in his hand. I don't know why. This is the sharp edge. Ooh, no, it's not really, it's not, it's only felt. But uh, I would say though, I would have almost had flipped the knife around only simply just because of the way that handle is. Uh, the blade doesn't look so much of an issue, but when you're looking at the handle, I would have actually have had it facing the opposite way. Now, the only thing I can gather is the what reasoning why they had it facing this way is because there's something just to kind of hang on to the arm, even though technically the knife isn't touching any of it, and it's just slightly bent. I'm not going to bend that too much because I don't want to cause damage to it, but I would have probably just 
flipped the knife around and had the handle going the opposite way. That's just me. But I think a lot of it, again, has something to do with the fact that the overhang of the knife, they just didn't want to have it on this side. In case you're picking this up, you wouldn't want to be pinching and breaking the knife or damaging the knife at least. Down below, again, we've got that little jack-o'-lantern, a smiley little jack-o'-lantern. It actually kind of, in a way, with the hearts, one eye sort of looks like a heart. It reminds me of the 2018 Halloween. I don't know if this has, whether this is just like a little fan nod to the 2018 Halloween or if it's just the way they stitched it. It's probably just the way they stitched it. But I do like the fact that the eyes are sunken in there and there's texturing done to it. This is one of the things that you get with these stitched together figures. Like they, It feels like there's a good quality to it. Again, short of the fact that I would have Velcroed this. Shh, is that the sound of what Velcro makes? Shh, I would have Velcroed that. So you can actually take the pumpkin off if you wanted to. Like the head? Like the head on Michael Myers here. I think they did a really good job. As you can see, the top of the lip is the thing that's actually stitched. And what they've done just for the bottom of the lip is they've just given a slight indicator with this little bottom lip line. You can do that also in animation as well. A little bit of an indicator of a nose as well. You've got gray also stitched in there for his eyebrows. And he's got the blackest eyes, the devil's eyes. You can't see anything in there. I mean, again, I think that it would be fun if they... I don't know if Kid Robot would want to go the bloody route. But, I mean, the idea of re-releasing this guy with red stains coming down from his eyes, I think would certainly be a fun touch. Now, he also has a little hanging hook. Much like the tag, this will be something that likely I'm going to probably take off. The idea is they put that rooted in his hair. So if you wanted to, you could hang Michael Myers. That's a little unsettling, isn't it? That you would want to be hanging Michael Myers from your ceiling or from a lamp. So that will be something else I'm going to be taking off. I have to really commend Kid Robot for the quality of hair that they put into Michael Myers here. Onto actually his head. Good, firm amount of rooted hair. Again, you don't see the sideburns or anything like that, but the hair is much, much browner than I would have probably gone with, but I certainly do want to commend them for the amounts, the volume. There's a lot of volume of hair. I'm just enjoying running my fingers through it, but there's definitely a lot of volume going on for him. As for the fact he is obviously padding, everything on him is going to be padded, like his head, for example. It's squishy to the touch. His body also is squishy. The only thing that really isn't, is just the knife. The knife is like the only thing that isn't plush on this funny Michael Myers. It's so strange saying funny Michael Myers. But I do like this one quite a bit. They don't really have a whole lot of funny figures. I think they did do a Jason Voorhees, a Pennywise, and a Freddy Krueger, if memory serves me correctly. But I don't know what the licensing would be to do further Michael Myers. But again, just a little hint, just a suggestion from this humbled reviewer. I mean, if they're going to be advertising this guy as a Halloween 2 Michael Myers, re-release this guy again. I mean, using everything that we're looking at right now in this review, re-release it with the bloodied eyes, just trickling down the front of his face. And that would definitely be one that I would pick up as well. He's a cute little guy, that plushy Mikey Myers with his messed up hair. Actually, you know, the way his hair is styled right now, it reminds me of the curse of Michael Myers. And again, far be it from me just to continue to want more of these funny Michael Myers figures. But, I mean, really, I mean, they could easily have also given him great coveralls. Bingo, bango, you've got yourself Curse of Michael Myers. This one is cute. He has some difficulty sitting. But again, just a mentioned point before, if you have like a napkin ring or a wide enough ring, put that down on whatever you're resting these figures on, these plushies on. And it kind of guarantees that they're gonna, they're not going to fall over. I mean, truth be told, I probably could have used the larger ring just to cement the idea that he wasn't going to topple over. If I get him just in the right place and his hiney sitting on that ring just right, then funny Michael Myers won't be falling over anywhere. I do like the fact that he does come in clear with this pumpkin. The knife is a nice touch, although I probably would have still twisted that knife the opposite way. So the handle and the blade was kind of closer to his face. I guess you kind of want to have the sharp end of the blade away from your face but I think it would have looked a little bit better for the funny Michael Myers. Again, if you're interested in picking this one up for yourself, uh, you can, I'll provide the link down below to Kid Robot's website, their shop, where you can pick this one up for yourself. And again, a big thank you to the folks over at Kid Robot. Even though technically Halloween is long gone, how many of us still love Michael Myers? And I celebrate the shape all year round. 
I may watch his movies more closer to the Halloween season, but the rest of the year, there's still plenty of love to go around for Michael Myers. And I really think that this one is absolutely adorable. Let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think of Funny Michael Myers, P-H-U-N-N-Y. And also, if you're new to this channel and liking the content you're seeing, consider the idea of hitting that subscribe button down below, turning, yes, that bell notification on. Don't worry, I do sanitize it regularly. And keep your peepers peeled to this channel Monday to Friday, 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's when you'll find tons of videos coming your way. And we are also going to be looking at some more kid robot things. So as always, keep your peepers peeled to this channel. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.